from inside the coil here. You wanna? Yeah. Two sensors inside Two sensors. the coil. Yeah. One's the air sensor and one's the coil sensor. Mm -hmm. So the coil sensor is a clear one, and it plugs into where it says coil sensor, <laughs> CT1. CT1. It's white. Okay. So it matches the plug, and this is a light green, which matches the return air temperature RAT and that plugs in so that has to be done in the field okay all right all right then we our field have wiring our, we have our thermostat, thermostat wire and we have our um, O which is uh, we use B mm -hmm. um, even though this one says O and we have G we're using green then we have Y1, stage one, and we have our blue for Y2, stage two, heat pump and AC. We're using black for common and red for hot. Mm -hmm. So those all go in there, small screwdriver to tighten them down. And there you have it. We have our electric heater, and with our heater, we have a 10kW, so we have two stages. So we're going to go ahead and use blue for our second stage heat, and we're going to use yellow for our first stage. So we have an S1 and an S2, and then we have a common, and in this case we're going to use our white wire for common. And we don't use S3 because we only have 10 kW. Uh, S3 would be for 15 kW. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, we have to hook G also, or the green wire also, where G is on the other. Take a little voltage wires and just pick yep. it up. So got fan. Connected. You got step one, <coughs> step two, yep. common. Yep. Line voltage. All good. Communication wire. We have our ground, which is this one here. We will remove. Connect flow the switch voltage. wires right here. Absolutely, flow switch wires. <clears throat> One, but that's all right. On the indoor B board, which we have here for the I series unit. There are two switches. They're labeled switch W from left to right. They're labeled switch two and switch one. Switch 2 tells us what circuit, what refrigerant circuit we're hooked up to. Whether we're hooked up in this case to circuit 1, 2, 3, or 4. Well, we're hooked up here to circuit number 1. So we set that to the factory default, which is off, off. Now, the other switch, switch 1, which is to the right of switch 2, we determine the size of the system with that one. Since we're using a 3036, we want to have that set so that switch one, the first switch is set to off, the second switch is set to on. And those are the only switches that we have to set on this indoor B board. So that's all we have to do. It's not like the EC motor where we have a number of switches and settings. We don't have that with the I series. It's all prefabricated from the factory. Okay. We are up in the attic right now. We've just turned the circuit breakers on the electric furnace on. We now supply it with power. We have three LEDs on our circuit board, on our, our, our control board, and we have a red light, which is solid. Now that's a good sign. That means the system is ready to run.